What's up guys, this is BSG Trek Band 88 here in the passenger seat of my 1995 Jeep YJ. And uh, I'm going to shut off the autofocus because that sound is going to annoy the piss out of you. Um, I'm making this video for anybody who has recently purchased a YJ or just wants to know about some of the unique features. As I've said before in many of my videos, the YJ is the last of its kind where it really doesn't have that many amenities and it really isn't that simple or easy to use. I mean, you could take your average person who's never been in this Jeep before, put them in here, and they wouldn't figure out how to work shit. So, we'll start with the thing that's most important, um, the gauges. You can see that the steering wheel column and all that stuff is over there, yet these gauges over here are the ones you need to look at. You have uh, amps, you have your oil, you have your temperature, you have your fuel, and then this one lights up if your four-wheel drive work is on. Mine is currently on all the time. The light, that is, not the uh, four-wheel drive. I don't know why that is. I know that I'm not in four-wheel drive. My four-wheel drive works, so I'm not that concerned about it. And of course, you have your speed, your RPMs. Um, but the main reason I want to do this with you guys is, maybe I can put this down here. I guess I could do that. Um, maybe I'll edit this out. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Um, let's see. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. Um, this is the <laughs> antiquated uh, heat and air control. Now... 90% of Jeep YJs, and I've gotten this from a forum, and the guy we used to work for Jeep, or Chrysler actually, who owned Jeep back then, 90% um, of Jeep YJs that were produced from 94 to 95 did not have air conditioning. And out of that percentage, only 10% of those that had air conditioning were automatic. And I own an automatic with air conditioning. Whether or not the AC was put in after the fact, I don't know. Um, I'll show you the guys the air conditioning in a second. But this is your main control for <laughs> your heat and your air. It's off right now. It's on cool, not warm. Obviously, in the winter time, you'd want it on warm. Now, you have three settings here. You have defrost, heat, and vent. Now, when you put it into frost mode, it basically allows you to turn the fan on or off. The fan will always be on a very low setting, but it will be on if you have this lever, this lever, in anything but off. So if you put it on defrost, heat, not vent, but if you put it on heat or defrost, it'll always be on just a little bit, and then of course you can control it uh, to go faster or slower. Now, um... In normal Jeeps that do not have air conditioning, there is no way to have air coming into the cabin. There are no vents. Um, that's one of the main things they changed when they went to a later model. Um, now, the top of the Jeep's hood, if I can get you to view it. Okay, see that vent? Okay. That allows air to go in and basically get used for the defrost or whatever you have. Now I'm going to open my door and you'll see that there is a vent there. Now currently I have it set to off, but if I put it in vent mode, you'll see that it opens. That literally allows air to go into the cabin. So if I'm on the highway or going faster than 25, fresh air will actually be going through, no you can't see it, that vent into the cabin. And that is a lifesaver considering how hot this cabin gets, especially with how hot the floor gets because the transmission and the cat are here. Um, so now that I've mentioned that, if I put this to heat, um, it basically sends hot air from the engine you know, obviously if you put it on warm, through the floor vents, which are up there, it does a lot of air through there, and of course, the, um, the defrost ports. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, you just said there are no vents in the Jeep, so what am I looking at right now? My Jeep has air conditioning. Well, it, it does, but it's not working right now because I, I, I broke a pipe. I have to weld it back together. But, how the air conditioning works, you 
turn this it has three speeds high medium low and off and the cooler you want the air to be you turn that to the right um, now it blows air out of uh, five different ports one immediately below the steering column three here in the center and then one underneath the dash box this whole thing can actually pop out it's a separate add-on and worth it as far as I'm concerned um, but a lot of people were unsure how exactly they get the heat and everything to work and they were wondering why you know there's no air coming into the cabin unless you open the windows well one thing I will mention you can't just do this right like see how uh, it's out of focus see how it's not really all the way over if I were to show you the vent right now it's not open you push it over and then you push hard this way and now it opens it's it's like a you know it's it's not exactly tight I'm sure when the Jeep was brand new you could just simply slide it over um, I've WD-40 it and it made it a lot easier first time I did it, it was very hard to do probably hadn't been open in a while um, but make sure you do that when you're driving in a YJ if you want some fresh air um, when it comes to the the hood vent I am getting a scoop or a ram that will allow more air to go through so hopefully it'll be a little bit more powerful um, so yeah that's you know the interior um, I have my soft top on right now and my hard top did not have it but I have a switch here that allows for the rear window wiper um, this is the switch that I put in for my secondary lights up front over there you see you have your basic light switch which is pretty self-explanatory um, yeah I mean it, it's pretty straightforward once again this is the last of its kind when it came to being I mean hell look at the freaking side here I mean you have carpet which can come out and then on the side it's all exposed wiring and stuff now there is supposedly a carpet you can buy I haven't been able to find it if any of you watching this at own Jeep and know where I can get that carpet please let me know because I'd love to be able to cover all all this junk also on both the driver and passenger side you have a, a switch here so when the door is shut it shuts the light off put a little tiny bit of lubricant or WD-40 here so it moves in and out properly and make sure you have proper connection over here um, but yeah um, the air conditioning does work in this thing when the pipe isn't broken so hopefully that'll you know get fixed soon it would be nice to have some kind of air conditioning especially when I'm stuck in traffic and can't move um, this is my single din radio that I installed uh, it's an Alpine IDA X305 it does not have a CD player it's literally just a radio or USB which is why I bought it because I have an iPod classic which is my main source of music it displays the album art um, just it literally works just like an iPod where you have your, your your rocker you know you can switch through your playlists and your albums and whatnot um, so yeah anyway that's a good radio I recommend especially if you're all digital like I am and don't care about CDs um, quality is good it's 50 watts per channel which is more than adequate for a Jeep oh um, I did replace the speakers up front here with poke audios just type in um, I forget the, the measurements right now I'll probably put them in the description bar below um, they're plate speakers where they they have a little like a rectangular plate surrounding them so it'll, not, it'll install um, the sound bar does not work anymore I actually have some speakers back here that I'm, re I'm gonna replace them with actual speakers those are actually home theater speakers right now and of course I have my amp for my sub which is back there it's a 10 inch Rockford it's awesome but anyway, if you have any questions about the interior of a Jeep YJ or how you want to get it to work, please let me know. Um, I uh, research this shit to death and play with it every day. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Until then, this is BSG TrackFan88 signing out. Sorry for the wobbliness of the video. I'm using a lens that doesn't have um, stabilization in it. Uh, so yeah, 1995 Jeep YJ interior dash air conditioning vent, whatever you want to. See ya.